Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was searching katespade.com and was admiring several of her gold polka dot accent pieces. They were pretty expensive, but seemed pretty easy to duplicate. So I decided to make my own version using Dollar Tree items. So if you're interested in seeing how her items inspired me to make a version of my own, then just keep watching. For this project, I use a Dollar Tree tall vase, one of their glass round candle holders, two packs of their round dot stickers, a 8x10 and a 4x6 picture frame. I also use one of their 8x10 mirror frames. I picked up two of the boxes that I found in the Easter section of my Dollar Tree, as well as some Mod Podge my sponge brush, some other brushes from Dollar Tree, and from Hobby Lobby, I picked up these treat sacks. They were $1.79 with my 40% off coupon and my rust spray paint. I'll have the complete list of what I used down in the description box. So the first thing I did was spray paint this piece of the cardboard from my 8x10 frame and my polka dots with my gold rust spray paint. Once those were dry, I brought them back in cleaned my glass and simply applied the gold polka dots to my glass. Of course, you can add those gold dots to the glass with a stamp or with a metallic deco pen, but I thought that this method seemed very inexpensive and a lot easier. I added 10 of those gold polka dots around the bottom portion of my glass candle holder. And then I added three additional rows of those dots in total. I did the same for my tall vase. I added eight of the polka dots around the bottom, and then I added nine additional rows of those polka dots until I got to the top. To create my mirrored tray, I simply spray painted my 8x10 frame. This step was optional. I wasn't sure how thick of a paper I would use, but the tree sacks were pretty thick, so that step is definitely optional. I used my Mod Podge to attach that paper to the frame. I simply used a dab of water to dampen the paper, and then I added a thin coat of the Mod Podge to the paper and to the frame, and then I attached the paper to the frame. I used my scissors to cut away any excess paper, and then I continued to use my water and Mod Podge mixture to decoupage the paper to my frame.
Once I finish decoupaging my frame, I let that dry for about 30 minutes before adding my final layer of Mod Podge. Once that was dry, I re-added the glass back to my picture frame. Then I added the piece of the cardboard that I spray painted gold. I then added the mirror on top of that and then the cardboard backing and that was my mirror tray. Next, I also decoupaged my boxes. I first spray painted them. As you can see, I used a cream or ivory colored spray paint. I could have used the gold, but I decided because this is going to be covered up to use a spray paint that I very seldomly use, I thought that this color would definitely hide the Easter colors of the box. To decoupage, I again added a drop of water to dampen the paper, then a thin layer of the Mod Podge to the paper and a thin layer of the Mod Podge to the actual box. And then I press the paper onto the box. It was impossible to avoid any wrinkles, but when there were too many, I gently lifted the paper, added a drop of water, and then smoothed the paper down as much as possible. I did the same for the top of the box and for my second box as well.
To complete the project, I added this small votive candle holder that I got from Hobby Lobby on sale for $3, as well as one of the Dollar Tree round candles as well. I then added flowers to my vase, and here was my finished look. I really like how these turned out. Of course, this isn't a dupe for the Kate Spade decor, but I definitely got my inspiration from those pieces. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Remember, I upload new videos every single week. So until next time, guys, bye!